Honolulu. It's not just where the sun meets the sea, but also where products meet the port. As the industrial backbone and tourist hotspot of the Hawaiian Islands, this city has a lot more going on than just suntans and surfboards. Behind the beautiful beaches and high rises, there's an army of workers keeping it all running smoothly. But as the city keeps growing, so does the demand for infrastructure that can handle it. That's where Pacific Foundation comes in, tackling some of the toughest jobs on the island. Like the Sand Island Wastewater Treatment Facility, Hawaii's largest. At Sand Island, Pacific Foundation is treating the site with jet grouting, installing dozens of battered and upright columns around the existing utility to create a watertight seal. My name is Josh Hughes. I'm a foreman for Pacific Foundation. We are at the Sinegro Sand Island Project, Oahu, Hawaii. We are currently jet grouting uh, four-foot columns around an existing pipe to seal off the water. So I got Jose Valencia running the grout plant, Scott Hall running the high pressure pump, and Larry running the back truck. We got, yeah, we got a good team out here. They're all good players. Uh, they all know the next step, and they're doing it before we get there. It's a good crew. So we've got a bunch of batters and a bunch of verticals that essentially, when we're done, are going to tie together to seal off the water below the pipe. So with really good survey and uh, a good crew, we, we can move around the pipe without hitting it. The task was extraordinarily complex, installing jet grout and sea camp pod shoring to allow safe excavation around and below one of Hawaii's most critical utilities. Patience, a lot of patience and uh, making sure that if we are into an obstruction that it's not the pipe or uh, something else that we're not supposed to get into. So a lot of patience, a lot of phone calls and a good crew. I mean, it's fun to me. I mean, every day I get to come to work and do something new and it's fun. And it's labor intensive, so it's a good workout. Not only did we need to ensure a stable excavation, but it also had to remain completely dry. This challenge was amplified by existing pipe obstacles, pile caps blocking grouting on one side, and foundation piling preventing it on the other. Every aspect had to be designed in 3D, using 50-year-old drawings, as-built, and ground scaling to understand the true conditions. In the end, the excavation was not only safe and stable, but remarkably dry, a testament to the skill of the crews and the ingenuity of the engineers who crafted this unique solution.